AT, extraterrestrial. If you were born in the 80s, you probably know exactly what that is. You've probably seen it already. You saw that weird little freaky alien, long neck, buggy eyes. I mean, kids just adore this weird creature. I'm telling you what, as a kid when I saw it, yeah, I was thinking, this is crazy. This is like a crazy cool movie. It's so realistic, it's fake. But I'll tell you what, what you should do is rewatch it. Rewatch it as an older kid, right? Because we never become adults. What's the point in becoming an adult? It's stupid. When you watch a movie, a classic movie like E.T., as an adult child, you realize one thing. That alien, that alien's a creeper. You're telling me an alien from another planet, from a big old spaceship, with this power of life in its finger. You know, I'm telling you, that finger goes inside someone, that would be an awakening. If that, if that finger hit my prostate, pfft, I'd probably explode, it'd be so awesome. But more importantly, that finger brings life to things. But you're telling me this, that this alien, for some weird reason, can't figure out how to get home? Tell me this, these kids are this smart? I don't buy it. Kids are not this smart. There's a kid down the road, and he has this thing, and he's trying to build some, I saw him outside one day. He's trying to build this cool little contraption that would do something with humidity in the air. It was the craziest, coolest thing ever. And I came over, and it was not working. And I asked the kid, I said, why isn't it working? He didn't know. Want to know why? Because kids are basically stupid. Sure, all by the fact that the alien can touch things and make magic. That's fine. But I'm not buying the fact that this alien, who is just really probably the creepiest alien, I would rather deal with the gray aliens than this alien. I'm not going to be its friend. I don't know what it's going to do. That finger could do all kinds of things. If it can give life, probably can take life, which is scary, which is really scary. And the whole Reese's Pieces thing? <laughs> but I took one thing from this movie. If that's what the aliens are, we shouldn't even be afraid. These things are stupid. Like, I, think, I thought these things had technology. I mean, for crying out loud, for crying out loud, the ship is really kind of shitty too. <laughs> Lands and then <laughs> and they all kind of waddle out like what the f pistol out. <laughs> I'm shooting them all because they, they looked kind of funky. I'm not trusting anything that waddles. Have you seen be Have you seen people that waddle? I don't trust people that waddle. How can I trust an alien that waddles? I know it's a classic. And even that the kid on the bike going over everybody in the moon, sure, at the time it was crazy awesome technology. And the silhouette against the moon, it's like, you know, iconic, right? And oh yeah, one other thing. Cops can't catch kids on bikes. These cops are not the cops of the day. Cops of the day just pull out a taser and just tase the kid. Do an update. <laughs> Aliens caught immediately. Those kids were not amazing. They weren't X Games level. But somehow they, they seem to have escaped multiple police. But I'm giving E.T. just because of the fact that I'm not really afraid of aliens now that I've watched this movie. I'm only giving it a 5 out of 10. These aliens, they're going to be destroyed. There has to be a better alien race. If that is the only alien race, we, have, we need to conquer them immediately. I'm jumping on my spaceship as soon as I finish building it with those kids that are uh, my slaves in the back. I have all these kids, I basically pay them in fruit roll-ups and they just work tirelessly in the hot sun to create a spaceship so I can rocket myself to ET planet and take over the whole planet. I would be a king on that planet. I mean, cool, if I died, they could maybe res resurrect me, that'd be cool. But I'm not gonna die. Because I'm literally gonna walk through and snap all their necks. Will you listen to me now, ETs? They're all gonna be like, uh -huh. They're so afraid. Uh -huh, yeah. I'd, I'd rule supreme on the planet. Matter of fact, almost any human would be. Probably like a six-year-old could take on their entire species and probably not lose. But I'm not sad. Aliens need to be scarier than that. Peppermint candies are great. And after watching this review, you're probably like, man, I want a peppermint candy. But you probably don't have one. So you just probably should just subscribe and comment and do all that stuff. And look, if you have a question, you want something reviewed, hit me up. I'm your bro.